Hi, today we'll be taking a look at the last three decks from Vanguard V, Title Booster 1, Bang Dream Film Life. So we will be taking a look at Hello Happy World, Rosalia and Race of Sweden. Alright, first off we will start with Hello Happy World. And let's start with the order cards. So... First, we have the Great Tree, which is the finisher. So during your battle phase, when the Hello Happy World enters your view, if your opponent's Vanguard is Great Tree and above, during this turn, uh, the unit that enters will get power plus 10,000. And once per turn, after the attack of your Hello Happy World on your Vanguard will get circle, you may counter plus one. If you do so, call one from your hand. Alright, so since this is a finisher, we're playing two copies. Next, grid 2. If your opponent's Vanguard is grid 2 and above, all units in your front row get power plus 5000. And once per turn, when the attack of your Hello Happy World hits, attack hits, draw, you may draw 1 and so charge 1. Right, this is very important since the deck uses a lot of so blast. And you get to draw 1. Right. Next is the grid 1, we only play 1 copy since this is actually not that important. Right, we enter the field, if your vanguard is Hello Happy World, look at 2 cards from the top of your deck, and add 1 to hand and the rest into soul, up to 1 to hand. Alright, so that's the other cards that we play. Next, let's take a look at the grid 3, the VR. So this is a great tree Kokoro. When enter the field, search from your deck or drop zone for one card with Michelle in name. Call it onto Vanguard Circle. If you search a deck, shuffle the deck. And as a Vanguard, when this card attacks and you have a Hello Happy World music played during this turn, you can call one from your hand. Alright, so this deck do a lot of multi-attack. So great tree, let's put this aside. Next we have Kaoru. So when this card attacks, if you have a Hello Happy World music played during this turn, you may so plus one. If you do so during this battle, you your opponent must intercept if possible. At the end of the battle, this unit go back to the hand. Alright, so this thing actually clears the opponent's field. Next, Hagumi. Uh, enters the field during this turn, this unit get power plus 10,000. Right, this is one of the key cards in this deck, definitely a 4 copies. So as I said just now that this deck do multiple attack. So when you during attack phase, uh, with Koko effect, you can call this out. So plus 10k by its own effect. And if you have the grade 3 order card, additional 10k, so it's a 30k attacker by itself. Next, we have uh, another key card in this deck, the Great to Kokoro. As a Vanguard enters a field, look at top 7. Reveal up to 1 Great 3 Kokoro. Add it to hand, shuffle the deck. And as a rear guard, when it enters a field, you may call one from your hand. So with the Great 3 Kokoro, declare attack, call this, and call one more onto the circle. So you can do another 2 attacks. Alright, so definitely 4 copies. Next, we have Kalon. So after boosting battle, if you have a uh, if you have played a uh, music uh, Hello Happy World music during this turn, return this card back to hand, and so charge one, right, so to increase the amount of ammo you have in the deck. Next, alright. Uh, unlike the previous few decks. The cards with the effect to search for your order card from your deck or drop zone is from Michelle. So activate. If you have not played any order card during this turn, call the blast one. When deck or drop, search for one. Hello Happy World music with a uh, great lesser than your Vanguard. Same or lesser. If you search a deck, shuffle the deck. After the attack of a uh, rear guard Hello Happy World, you may so blast one and return it back to hand. Right, so we will show the combo in a while. Next, we have the Great One Kokoro. 
when it attacks or boosting attack hits uh, hits just need to hit you may look at top 2 of the deck review up to 1 hello happy world add it to hand the rest back to bottom deck any sequence right as for the trigger it's similar to the previous view 8 critical 4 draw 4 heal right let's take a look at the basic combo of this deck so for the ideal view we will have a Great Shu Kokoro and this deck works well with uh, Force 1 but it's on your rear guard circle take this definitely have Michelle on the field as for this uh, there's no specific uh, great one that you can use but best will be, be a Canon right to increase the amount of soul you have And if possible, something like this. Alright. So let's say Hagumi enters the field during this turn. Get power plus 10,000. Right. So. Or attack the rear guard without boost first. Attack. So plus one using Michelle's effect. Return this back to hand. With a booster attack. After the attack. Return this back to hand. So charge one. Uh, Michelle effect. So plus one. Return the grid two back to hand. When the Vanguard attacks, call out one card. So I can call Kokoro. Get power plus 10,000. And Kokoro's effect. Call and not. Call Hagumi. 10,000 by Hagumi's effect. Another 10,000 by the other cast effect right twin drive after that okay attack again so plus one return this back to hand attack again so plus one return back to hand other cut effect counter plus one and we can do this over again right so one two three four five Six seven attacks. Right. So that's Hello Happy World. Alright, next we'll take a look at Rosalia. And we we'll start with the other cards. We are not playing the grid one uh, due to personal preference. I prefer the grid two's ability over the grid one that gives two unit power plus five thousand and to draw. Right, let's start with the grid three order, which is the key card in this deck. Right, so the key combo. So once per turn, after your vanguard with uh, Minato Yukina, which is the main vocal, after her attack, so plus four. Discard one card from your hand, stand your vanguard, and drive minus one. Right, basically a mini dragoning overlord. Two copies since uh, we can retrieve it from the drop. Next, uh, Brave Jewel. Once per turn, when the attack of your Rosetta did not hit, right, once again did not hit, counter plus one, choose an opener's rear guard, retire it. If you do so, draw the same number. As the grid, so if you retire grid three, you get to draw three cards, right? Which is a lot more pressuring compared to the grid one. Next, we we'll take a look at the grid three, which is the main vanguard. So when this card attacks, if you have played uh, Rosetta music during this turn, during this battle, this unit get power plus five thousand for each of opponent's grid. So if your opponent is a grade 3, you get power plus 15k. If it's a uh, grade 4, you get power plus 20k. Right, so she gets stronger according to the, your opponent's grade. And just like the other band, if you have not played any order during this turn, counter plus 1, search from your deck or drop zone for Rosalia music. Play it, and if you search a deck, shuffle the deck. Right, for the grade 2, uh, first of all, we have Lisa. So if retired from Guardian Circle, you may put into Soul instead. 
So after you guard or intercept, just send it to Soul. Since uh your Firebird requires Soul Blast 4. And when it enters the field, Soul Charge 1, during this turn, one of your Rosilla get power plus 5,000. Very simple. Next, we have Sayo. If you have played a Rosilla music during this turn, this unit get power plus 5,000. After your after attack that it attacks a Vanguard after battle, if your Vanguard is a Rosalia, you may put this into Soul and draw one. Right, once again, not only increase a Soul, you get to draw one. The Great Two Yukina, both have Vanguard effects. During your turn, if you have played a Rosalia music, this unit get power plus five thousand, and when it enters the field. So charge 2, if you so charge 1 or more Rosalia, you get to draw 1. Right, for the grade 2, we can actually look at alternatives such as Tae. Enter the field, drop 1, retrieve 1 music, or we have Vanguard attack, this unit and the Vanguard get power plus 5000. Right, since this is uh, universal, you can actually uh, sub this into the deck if you want. Right, so we'll take a look at this at the same time. So we will start with Arco. Enter the field, look at top 5, search for 1 ring core, which is this unit. Up to 1, add it to hand, shuffle the deck. And when it attacks or boosts, and the attack hits, you may so charge 1. Next ring core, when it attacks or boosts, and it hits, counter plus 1 to draw 1. And if you have Arco on your Vanguard Rear Guard Circle, this unit get power plus 5000, so it's a 13,000 boost. So it's a good combination of the few. So definitely 4-4. Four, four. Next, we have the Great 1 Yukina. Enters the field, look at top 5. Review up to 1, Great 2 and above Rosalia. Return it back to hand, shuffle the deck. If you add a card, discard one card by hand. Very simple. And the trigger as usual. Alright, let's take a look at the basic of how to play for this deck. So, for the ideal view, we will have, of course, Yukina. Firebird. Bridge Jewel is for setting up. As for the rear guard, uh, the rear guards are not that important. Right, so should get five k. Should get five k, and Lisa enters the field. Choose a unit plus five k. Most of the time, I just give it to the Vanguard. Right, you look something like this. So when this thing declares attack, according to your Vanguard's uh, opponent's Vanguard, so most of the time you get like plus fifteen k, which is like this. So we have a. 33k attacker and preferably we'll be playing force 2 for the additional pressure so 33k 2 crit one time soul blast 4 discard 1 we stand and another single drive All right so this deck basically uh, it focuses on only on the vanguard the rear guards are there as a support and once they once you finish attacking, they'll just go into soul or intercept to go into soul to charge up for the next turn. Right, it's a very simple deck. And the combos are easy to pull off compared to uh popping party or pestle pallet or even afterglow. Right, so this is Rose there. Alright, last but not least, we have Race of Sweden, which comes from the Secret Pack. And then, as the Secret Pack only has 7 types of cards, we will need to uh, include some other cards such as uh, Tae from Popping Party, which is universal to all band. The Grid 2, Unstoppable, which is a magazine promo card. This card is very simple. Enter the field, draw 2, drop 2. 
and continuous if you have five or more music in your drop zone all units in your front row get power plus 5000 very simple right. other than that uh, everything is just four copies and for the triggers and the first vanguard they are common cards which is uh, in a normal set so they are not part of the secret pack right we will start with exposed burn out which is the finisher at the start of your battle phase, if you have seven or more races of Sweden music in your drop zone, during this turn, all you need in your front row get power plus 10,000. In addition, you may counter plus one. If you do so, all your opponent's unit cannot gain power from the triggers. Alright, so this is the finisher. And as it says, you need seven or more. That's why we are playing 10 copies, which I personally feel that it's not really enough. I'll be playing like 11 musics if needed. And for the great one, Riot, which is your setup card. So when you play this card, review top two, add all races swinging among them to hand, put the rest back to bottom deck. Right. So if you're lucky, you get to draw two every time you play this, right, which is a good setup. Next, we have layer. The main vocal and your main vanguard. During your turn, if you have five or more music in your drop zone, this unit get power plus 15k. And activate counter plus one, draw one, and during this turn, one of your rear guard get power plus 10,000. Very simple effect. And we have Tai. You can actually play four copies if you want, or just two copy and change one of these to music. Next, we are lock. If you play a uh, music during this turn, this unit get power plus five thousand. Activate once per turn. So plus one, drop one card from your hand. During this turn, this unit get power plus five thousand. And if you have discarded a uh, Razor Sweden, you may draw one. Right. So this is the new guitarist, and she used to be in the band. Uh, that's the reason why she can be uh, fit inside this deck perfectly. So I believe we need to introduce this at the same time. So first of all, we have Pario. If you have a rearguard with Choo Choo in name, this unit get power plus 5000. And when this card enters the field, look at top 7. Review up to 1 card with Choo Choo in name. Add it to hand and shuffle the deck. And Choo Choo, which is uh, very very important in this deck, it must be on the field. Right, at the start of your battle phase, if your race of Sweden with the with power 30,000 and above is on the field, change their original critical to 2 and activate rest this unit. Look at 5 cards from the top of the deck, review up to 2 music with race of Sweden, add it to your hand, put the rest back to bottom deck in any sequence. Alright, unlike the other band that search from the deck or drop this thing can only look at top five and add up to two to hand right the, that's the reason why we need to have die when she enters the field we get drop one and retrieve one music right next we have uh, masking enters the field put top two cards from deck into drop in addition, you may so plus one to end this card one, retrieve a race of them from your drop to hand. Right, and the trigger is as usual. Let's take a look at the deck build. For this deck, there's no point for you to play uh force two since both the force two and choo choo makes your original critical to two. So uh it doesn't make any difference, so we may as well just go for force one. And for the ideal field, we will have layer in the center. For the right and left, basically, most importantly, we need to have Pario and Choo Choo. Right, for the other side, is up to you. You can have the full band on the field. 
there's no issue with that and of course expose burn out since there's a lot of discarding so most of the time we'll just try to discard as many music as we can if we need we'll retrieve with Tai. all right so let's go for the thing so we'll start off with let's say we have five we have seven in the drop already so later we have 15k which makes this 30, 38k already so at the start of battle she already get one more crit next we have barrio since two trees on the field she get power plus 5000 next we can activate her ability since we already play a music she get power plus 5000 and by activating her ability to draw one she get a bonus 5000 so it looks something like this 15k right layer can give one unit plus 10k so we can give either one of them let's say we go for lock so lock again another critical right if you manage to rewrite during this game you just need one more force one marker here right 20 25 If possible, you need to write two times to make it easier for you to reach the magical number, which is like this. Right, so layer will give to her instead. At 25, 35k here, 30k just nice, and 38k in the center. So this will be the ideal field. So you will need to write layer at least three times in this game. Or else if you like one less time yeah, you just look something like this All right so this is race of Sweden the setting up is a bit slow since you need to have seven music in your drop to activate the exposed burnout other than that you can just use Riot to gain as much advantage as you can. Unstoppable to help setting up and giving front row power bus 5000. Alright, so this is Racer Sweden.